an investor looking for premium market opportunities. Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Hello, I'm Rachel. Thanks for joining me on Calkine TV for the Penny Pig Show, where we look at all the latest news from penny stocks. Firstly, Touch Ventures has agreed to sell its investment in Bravos Corporation as part of a larger deal with Cuscal, which will acquire majority interest in Bravos Corp. Touch Ventures expects to receive around $14.2 million, subject to escrow requirements, net debt and working capital adjustments. The transaction is expected to happen over the next two months. They've also increased the valuation of Bravos by $4 million to reflect the expected cash proceeds in completion of the transaction. As a result, the company's net tangible assets per share increased by half a cent to 17.9 cents on a pro forma basis as of the 31st of January. On the back of the announcement, Touch shares are trading up 5.26% at 10 cents. And the Booktopia Group today announced that the federal court has handed down its orders on proceedings started by the ACCC back in December 2021. The proceedings concern two statements that previously appeared on Booktopia's terms of business to the effect that customers who receive an item that is incorrect, damaged or faulty were required to notify Booktopia within two business days of delivery and that returns and refunds were not possible for certain types of products and statements made to 19 customers that it was not obliged to provide a remedy if the customer had not contacted Booktopia within two business days. Those website statements were removed from the 3rd of November 2021. Booktopia acknowledges that these statements were not correct and not consistent with Booktopia's obligations under the Australian Consumer Law. The Federal Court has made declarations and ordered Booktopia to pay total pecuniary penalties of $6 million to be paid in instalments over five years, subject to the terms of the orders. Shares in Booktopia are trading lower, 2.08%, at 24 cents. And lastly, Mighty Craft today appointed Kate McNabara to its board of directors as a non-executive director. Effective from the 17th of April, the appointment marks continuing progress as part of the company's ongoing board renewable process. The company said that Katie's got experience serving on various boards in Australia. She's also currently a non-executive director of Motorcycle Holdings and a board member of Opera Queensland. On the back of the announcement, Mighty Craft shares were trading up 3.12% at 16.5 cents. Well, that's all for now. We'll be back with the exclusive Penny Pick show on Monday. Keep watching Calkine TV for the latest market updates and related insights. I'm Rachel signing off for now.